G'day, The Other Side, your weekly summary of the best news and commentary without the woke, is taking a two-week winter break. We're back with a brand new season two for 2024 soon on Friday, July 19. Enjoy this clip from season one. Let's talk about men. Like, I mean, what's happened to the role of men in society? There's a traditional male mentoring, no disrespect to women because they have a role to play here too, but, but men, the, the role of the man in Australian society at least has become quite degraded quite looked down upon, quite frowned upon. Well, um, well you know, it's, uh, it's always an uncomfortable conversation, but as you say, we've, we've got to address it. F fundamentally, I think we all acknowledge that men and women are different. It's, it's the way we're born. We have, you know, uh, women who, who obviously are the people that give birth to every single person on the planet. They, they, they fundamentally have, you know, they're fundamentally more nurturing and more caring than, than men, you know, for example, who who come at it from a different perspective. Now, that in no way means that that women can't do anything they want. You know, I've got two. Well, that men are worse than women. No, anyway. I've got yeah. I've got it's equal but not a, not got, equal but not the same. I've got two daughters who who I will tell every day of the week they can do anything they want and become anything they want. That that doesn't mean there are not natural tendencies toward things oh, that's right. and people will find fulfillment you know following what they naturally you know tend to do mm. but uh, you but rob you spoke about men mentoring men and and, mm. and fathering mm. um, and we've seen that in the united states the problem with the absent father yeah the impact that has on society uh the role of the father is not something that we put on a pedestal in australia it's something that we mock in advertising uh it's the doofus dad you know doofus dad um icon that we, mm. we sort of everybody a stereotype that everyone jokes about. I'm going to go there. Go there, brother. I'm going to go there. <laughs> go there, brother. It's the brotherhood. You look, you look at a lot of the social science. Mm. There's a lot of it out there. There's a general, it's not always a one-to-one, -one, but there's a general trend that left is a politi political manifestation of the feminine and the right is a political manifestation of the masculine. And we talk about feminine consumption, masculine capitalising. And that's why you have a show talking about the GDP and, and economics. It's going to be a lot of older blokes. And then you look at any labor policy pandering to women. They know that the left is, is, is largely... Has the caring bias. It, the, which it's we the need empathetic the bias, feminine, yeah. empathetic feminine bias. You know, in their psychological science, you've got feminine empathetic cognitive bias. Versus, which means that they're very tuned. It doesn't mean you can't think of other things, but it's just like a first point... The easiest path for the water to flow in the brain is is empathy. It's the first place they. And it doesn't land. mean that it's a male female divide either, but it's there will like be a, a tendency. Seven, it's a 70 it's a 30. 70, 30 mm. sort of, yeah. Some, and even Jordan Peterson say some men have more feminine temper yep. than some women, but it's still a 70 30. So the point is, it's politically. You're saying there's more than two genders, are you, Rob? You can't say that. <laughs> no, I'm show. saying personalities. Personalities, <laughs> though. Yeah, but it's still, it's still a politically, in a democracy system where you need 51% of the votes, it's still a politically relevant. Um, template and you know what I've known about this for a long time but I looked at the the data coming out of the 2022 election and even labor think tanks are explicitly saying all around the world left is women right is men young men it's that you've got you're getting a gender split there you know I, I also wonder you know talking about this because I've I've noticed that as people get older you're one you're one I was probably one as well we uh, we started with left tendencies and as we got older mm. at you know accepting and adopting more responsibility we moved right now if you think about the family structure which is fundamental you know it's the the one of the oldest institutions and everybody accepts the value or, or you know the vast majority of people accept the value of the family unit when you have a family unit and you have kids like you said before Kids aren't responsible, no. you know, at a very young age. Parents have to take responsibility for the children. But the role of a parent, the fundamental role of a parent, I would say, is to raise your children to be independent so that they can compete well in a competitive world. And so there's there's a shift, there's a trend from from not being responsible to being independently responsible. And the, the governance over that, the parents and the family... That they would act more like a uh, like a socialist arrangement, you know, where where they take the authoritarian control and take the responsibility, 
and impose, you know, certain things. They don't give absolute freedom to the children because that would be would be dangerous. Right. Uh, I mean, you, there's an element of left-wing feminine infantilization, yep. which Jordan Peterson would call the devouring mother. Okay. The mother that doesn't want the children to fly the nest, to leave the nest. Correct. And as you were saying, what's the point with the gender stuff and our society now? I think that our move leftward is is hand in hand with the fact that you could turn on a 90s sitcom and the dad doesn't have respect. I think largely to consume pro more productivity, it's, it's undermining masculine virtues and masculinity mm. in order to consume more because it will be more... It'd be, and it's not all, all men or all women, but it would be more of an archetypical masculine that looks forward into the future and sees more systems and looks at the GDP and the economy through time. And says, we can't afford that, kids. That's right. Mom, go and ask your mother. Mum, mum wants to give, the, the, wants that's to right. nurture, wants that's to, right. which is essential. And then uh, it's dad that steps in and says, we can't, we can't, in, you can't have that, right? That's, that's right, well, because it, there's limits. This is not a gender thing, right? <laughs> totally, okay? It's partially a bias. But you, but are, you argue with a left-wing person and they say, you lack empathy yeah, you and, you're, and, and vulnerable groups. This is the terminology they use, empathy. Well, I'm saying scientifically, the, the psychological science, they have an empathetic cognitive bias, but also vulnerable groups. I was talking about vulnerable groups. And I'm, is, it, is it this feminine nurturing? We need to nurture the vulnerable groups, whereas it's more... Sometimes, in some arenas, the dad's ability to say, you know what, through time we've got to make sure we don't go broke <laughs> and, and we, there needs to be limits. And unfortunately, you know, sometimes men have to act as a proxy for nature because scarcity is part of nature. Entropy is a part of nature, it's all the natural law stuff. But I think the demonization of masculine virtues throughout a culture has gone hand in hand with this political shift. Demonization, we define masculinity, <laughs> the feminist movement defines masculinity as toxic now. Well, and so you, you it's go, like masculinity itself. We talked well, we about should. toxic elements of masculinity once or toxic masculinity. Now masculinity, period, is toxic. Oh, so is traditional watch. masculinity, traditional, you know, uh, I mean, any kind of aggression or, or not all violence is, is negative. Some violence is to well, protect. It's, it's a, I, I, my view is it's important that, that none of us demonise anything. You know, half of the people on the planet are male and half of the people on the <laughs> planet right. are female. Yep. Yep. You know, we must cooperate together and play to our strengths, Absolutely. which is what I said. Men Absolutely. and women are different. Uh, we, you know, that doesn't that that uh, doesn't mean that women can't do anything and men can't do anything. But you know, if you've got a strength, whatever that is, uh, you would play to it. But nature has provided <laughs> this balance between the masculine and the feminine. You see, a this division of labour, and... a division of labour, we're different but compatible. Yeah. And when you try to make people the same, you undermine that division of labor, you're actually undermining our value to provide value to each other. So our ability to well, provide value to each other because you're undermining the division of labor. Well, being different and compatible is very productive. That's right. You, so that's part, once again coming into the entropy of the system, we've allowed the division of labor between the, ma I'm gonna say not men and women, the masculine and the feminine, whichever way you personally mm. are more inclined as a personality, but the division of labour between the masculine and feminine, we've undermined that productivity, and once again we're feeling the entropy in the system. Wow. And so to input energy to maintain that system, the division of labour, it's going to take some energy from the people who have the reserves of energy. And resources. And the resources. Right. Okay. We're going to have to leave it there, guys, for this uh, segment because we're out of time, but I want to, I want to keep going. So why don't we stick around and do a bit of a, a podcasty thing and we'll put it up. Uh, on demand uh, for our ADH listeners and we'll put it out on the other channels um, as well. Uh, so we'll stick around and have a bit more of a, of a conversation. I didn't quite expect we were going to go and end up with a, a talk about gender and <laughs> what's happening with gender in us, but yeah. it all fits together, doesn't it? The left, the right, the, the, the male, the female feminism, the le feminism's connection with the left and the Greens and the environmental issues and blah, blah, blah. Okay, it there's, does a fit together. there's a lot it to There's a lot to unpack. Fit together. Well, maybe yeah. we, should, we should offer something like approximating a solution. Yes, well, just quickly, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so basically we need men to step up <laughs> we need I, capital to step up. We need people with money to start pulling their finger out and stop being so damn woke and start defending traditional liberal free market values and capitalism and conservatism as it used to do. Take responsibility. Take responsibility, right. Yeah. Okay, I so mean, sum it up. The responsibility frame is, is perfect. My frame is entropy. Anything will entropy if you don't defend it, if you don't restore, if you don't put energy into it.
Okay. Well, you let's. Want a, you want a free society. We're in the situation where the left want a very different so type of society. So they are analogous to an invading army. And we're sat here wanting to defend our society, the West, individual sovereignty, property rights, and the productivity that comes from all that. Um, and we're saying, we want to fight, but you guys have got all the money. Could you fund us some swords and shields? Hope you enjoyed that clip. The Other Side, your weekly summary of the best news and commentary without the woke, is taking a two-week winter break. We're back with a brand new season two for 2024 soon on Friday, July 19. To support us, please make sure you subscribe on YouTube right here and follow us on X at Other Side Oz. That's A-U-S. It's totally free, but we could always do with your support. So if you'd like to make a donation, click the super thanks button on YouTube with the dollar sign and the thanks on it right under the video frame below. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can check out the full episode that this clip came from right here.